Hey guys. FK Tech here. The Mercedes AMG One is first and foremost a hybrid supercar. The 1049 brake horsepower engineering feat shows what Mercedes can achieve when they put their collective brains, and a lot of euros, to work, such as fitting the engine of a 2016 Formula One World Championship winner into a road car. Auto and sell it to people who don't have the skills of Sir George or Lewis. Sip. But the AMG one is a story in itself. The car was first introduced in 2017 and is expected to be delivered in 2019. Or maybe 2020. Then again, despite a global pandemic, critical parts shortages and Mercedes' dominant F1 form starting to wane in 2022, the British-built one is still not ready. Eventually, after AMG boss Tobias Mowers left to join Aston Martin, the one went into production and 275 customers took delivery of the 2.3 million pound toy before even getting a card read from its British rivals. Fall 2022. Delivery ends by Christmas 2023. How does it work? A short interlude that explains or reminds you how complex machines are. At its heart is the 1.6-liter single-turbo V6. The turbo is effectively split between intake and exhaust and has 120 horsepower. Center the electric motor to pump the surface until the working pressure is ready. This is what F1 commentators call MGUH and it effectively reduces turbo lag. Behind the 566 horsepower, 353 horsepower per liter, internal combustion engine is a huge 161 horsepower electric motor, MGUK according to F1 commentators, both of which drive the rear axle. Each front wheel has a different 161 brake horsepower electric motor, which is no problem for F1 commentators. Maximum combined output is 1,049 horsepower, but torque figures are not published because the calculation is too difficult. Half the work is done by the former, so it can be summed up as a lot. The main structure of the car is made of carbon fiber, as is the body. The transmission is closely related to F1 cars and was designed by x -Track. The suspension is a sophisticated push unit and the car has a large heater to warm up the cap before it starts. The Mercedes still looks like a stunner, with 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds, 0 to 200 km per hour in 7.0 seconds and a top speed of 219 km per hour, but it couldn't be faster than the McLaren 765LT. So the McLaren feels uncomfortably fast at times and we don't know how fast the car is supposed to be and we can't judge everything by how fast it is. Because most cars worth over 2 million pound will be destroyed by a 35,000 pound motorbike. However, the one weighs 1,695 kilograms, putting it within reach of much cheaper cars such as Ferrari's bulletproof SF90 straight ale. If we believe we are affected, you couldn't be more wrong. We're very intrigued by the AMG one and suspect that one of the most interesting and useful cars lurks beneath it. Let's assume that the technology is not yet perfect. It will be remembered as one of the biggest crazies in the automotive industry and one of the funniest cars ever built. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the notification button. Thanks.